What do the psalmists say in Psalm 46? Be still and know that I'm God. Does that mean if you can get still, you'll have a lot of knowledge? You'll become really smart and you'll be able to argue with everybody? No, the word know seems to have a connotation of be still and have an experience with me. You say, what does that mean? Well, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So what does that mean? The more still your flesh is, the more your spirit will be experienced. And if you experience your spirit and the Holy Ghost is in your spirit, you'll experience Him. So when you become still, the part that connects this world is no longer functioning. So your mind gets quiet and your spirit begins to what? Begins to express itself to God. And in those moments like that, God becomes very real to you. You hear His voice. Didn't He tell the disciples who didn't get the job done and casting that devil out, this kind comes out by prayer and fasting? Do you mean you pray and fast the devil out? No, that's not what He was saying. He was saying the prescription for life is prayer and fasting. What does that mean? Turn your back on the world, turn your face toward God, and you will know Him or experience Him. And in the midst of a trial, experiencing God will lead you to know what to do. Why? Because you are led by the Spirit, His promptings, the spontaneousness of the Holy Ghost. Do you know what would solve everybody's problem of coming to church, trying to have a better church experience? Just experience God for yourself. And you would come to church with such a happy face, not being able to contain yourself, hoping the pastor just might say, does anybody have a testimony today? And hands go up all over the auditorium, and you think to yourself as the pastor, wow, i got to pick just a few of you because you know, we, we might not even have a service today. And then after hearing a couple of them, the pastor might even say, you know what, I've got a better idea than preaching what I was going to preach today. Why don't we have six more? Because you know what happens when people testify? Because it's a personal relationship means the way you see life, the way you choose life, and the way you work with God means your experience most likely will be different from the way somebody else experiences the Lord. Now the end result is you made a connection to God, which means something of this earth has been removed or changed. And in that we rejoice. But the way you see it, like I mean Elisha, you know, with an axe, and the iron is in the water, and you would think, get your scuba deer gear out. Let's go find it, yeah. right? Or at least you'd be kind enough to say, if we'll pool our money together, we can go get them a new one at the True Value Hardware Store, yeah. right? But guess what he said? He said, give me a twig. Yeah. Give me a twig. Can you imagine that little guy that came and asked him? He's, he's walking away and saying, Elisha had one too many drinks last night, you know? <laughs> And I'm trying, not trying to be coy with that. I'm just saying he would have thought he's crazy. Get a twig. Why a twig? Why a twig? And he comes with a twig and hands it to the, to the prophet thinking, this ought to be good. I want to see what he does with a twig to get the iron out. And he puts it into his hand, knowing that he is anointed by the Spirit of God. That cloak and mantle that's on him, he already test drove that at the Jordan River. Come on, folks. He went over and slapped that water and said, where is the God of Elijah? And, and it went like that. And I bet you the way he put that on himself was with a little bit of fear and trembling because he's like, God is in this cloth. And he put it on thinking, when I get it on, I wonder if I will be like, you know, kind of like the, the wily Coyote. Gone, you know what I mean? Like crispy critter. And he put it on and he thinks, huh? huh? I'm alive. I'm alive. Which means what? God has accepted me. The anointing is on me, which means I can use it, not only as he commands, but as I need to use it for his glory puts that thing in his hand, the anointing comes off of him, gets in the twig, tells the young man, put it where it went in the water, and the iron floats and says, now go pick it up. Would you have thought of that? See, that's what happens when we testify. Your heart and your mind begin to expand to a new realm and new dimension of thought. And you say, wow, that is so good. I wouldn't have thought about believing God like that. Now you've got another notch in your belt to try when you go home to say, Lord, if it works for them, it'll work for me. And all of a sudden, we begin to expand on our experiences with God. And all of these experiences highlight 
the Word of God. They don't take away from it. They actually honor God and His Word because He sent His Word that we might be healed, we might be delivered, we might be blessed. This is the life of the Spirit, folks, and this is your life right here, right now.